diverse teams, diverse groups get better results. You know, I, the, I've read those metrics before. It's just true. I mean, ROF, uh, you know, return on sales, return on um, invested capital, or return on equity is just true. Diverse teams, um, A.G. Lackley, the former CEO of P&G, wrote a great book about diverse teams always performing better than non-diverse teams. And it really doesn't matter what kind of homogenous teams they are. It's just the fact that diverse teams do better. They may get it added a little more slowly, but they always um, do better, um, particularly in terms of innovation and new products. I think um, for me in the boardroom, um, it, it's just that there's different voices and different opinions and different ways of looking at things. And I can't say that all, I, I happen to be on boards, um, in the case of PVH, there's um, three other women, and in the case of Post, there's two. So, you know, I think why I, I was trying to calculate what we are, but we're good. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we, got a good we got a good letter. So, for me, I, 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 so it's hard for me to say, so the women bring this, which is different than what the men bring. It's almost, it's, there's just different voices and different thought processes. Perhaps the women um, bring a little, uh, I, I, I agree what you said, they ask, they, they tend to ask some really good questions. There may be a, 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 perhaps a, a little more apparent empathy um, for some of the things that the CEO, the management team are, are going through. Uh, but but I, I, for me, it's really, it's, it's about the blend and the value of just different points of view and different perspectives.